Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for a wonderful day. We thank you for a blessed day. We thank you for a great day. Because you've made this day, this day is a good day. You don't do anything wrong. You can't be tempted with evil. Your hands are not about to do anything bad. So we know that because you made this day, you created this day, this day is a good day. We bless your name in return and we thank you for everything that has happened, everything that's transpired this day, whether it's been to our liking or not. We give you praise because your word says that everything give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. And this epistle was written to Christians who are undergoing many trials, tests, and temptations. And if it was good enough for them, it should certainly be good enough for, for us, especially when we have the, the luxury and the comfort of driving a vehicle in the United States of America on a Sunday afternoon. We should have no complaints. There should be no murmuring. There should be no discontent. If the Christians who are undergoing great persecution could learn to be content, we certainly can do the same. So, Father, we thank you, Lord, for your word today. We thank you for the guidance you give us and that you have given us today. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. We thank you, Lord, in all things. Guide and direct our steps in the way that we should go this afternoon as we as we drive and, and travel. We pray for your your holy angels to encamp around our vehicle and to encompass us about. We pray for your protection, your guidance and direction. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 And your Amen. protection. Amen. For my Father, we thank you, Lord, that you have a purpose and a plan and it doesn't revolve around anyone. It revolves around your purpose, your will, and the Lord Jesus Christ and bringing glory and honor to your name. We thank you, Lord, for giving us the opportunity to uh, still speak with Grandpa, and I pray that he will. I pray that he will understand and see that though he is 87, his eyesight can be bright, his eyesight can be clear, and I, we do pray, Lord, right now for clear understanding for Grandpa, uh, clear insight, clear vision. Uh, though he may have some problems physically with his eyes, he can have sharp insight with his spiritual eyes. Amen. Paul said it this way, and that, that he prayed that God would enlighten our understanding, that the eyes of our understanding, we have eyes that cannot be seen with the human eye, eyes that understand, eyes that see. And so that's our prayer for Grandpa, that you would give him eyes to see and eyes to understand. Everything that's going on around him, we rebuke every lie of Satan, Every, every demonic lie, every demonic strategy, everything that's there to kill, steal, and destroy, we rebuke that in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ of Nazareth. Father, we ask and pray that you'll surround him with your presence. And we pray, Lord, that if any uh, there's any problems, anything that he needs to deal with, I pray that you will give him the strength, the courage to stand up and speak up. And whether he does that with his own legs or he does that inside, to stand up and speak up, we pray that you give him the courage and the boldness to do just that. We thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering our prayer. We believe you have answered this prayer, and you will answer this prayer according to our faith, and we have faith to believe, and I have faith to believe that you have answered that prayer, Amen. and that you will continue to answer that prayer in the days ahead. We thank you, Lord, for giving all of us strength, boldness, and courage to stand up for Jesus, to make ourselves known, and to make Jesus known that we are followers of the Lord Jesus Christ and we are following Him. That is what we're about. And can I get an amen? Amen. Who's all in for Jesus? Amen. Amen. Okay. So we have, along with many other households of faith, we are all in for Jesus. And we thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord, concerning Grandpa. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. Okay, we we'll stop by here at Office Depot because my husband, he will pick up something. So I have some two things to pray. I'll pray for the authority in this um, United States and all the leaders. Father God, I leap up to you, all the leaders and all authority from the lower to the higher position, Lord. I pray, Father God, that you give them wisdom, a compassion of their heart, a love for their heart, open their eyes and their mind and their heart, Father God, so they will see the people, the needy people, 
Lord, especially your people. Thank you, Lord, for hearing this prayer. The only I have now is faith, Father God. I pray this, Father God, in the name of Jesus. I will not ashamed to declare my faith to the Lord Jesus Christ because Jesus, he died in the cross for all of us. And now I am, I am, the Lord saved me. And I, I surrender my life to the Lord Jesus Christ and the Lord choosing me as his child, as his servant, Lord, Father God. And I thank you, Lord, Father God, for everything, Lord. Lord, yesterday there is a great message that you revealed to us. The American River is, is fully dry. Lord, Father God, I pray, Father God, for the rain. Father God, you pour out the rain from the, uh, from the righteous to unrighteous people. I pray, Father God, for the rain for everyone, Lord, Father God. You shut the heaven, Father God, not to have the rain, but for the sake of your people, for the sake of your children. Father God, thank you, Jesus. And I pray for my household and my family that will be aware, prayerful, whatever the message that you have given to us, Lord, in Jesus' name. And I I pray for my husband, Father God, that you continually, Lord, Father God, use him and open the door of ministry that you are the only one can open, that you are the only one can close, Father God. We are ready, Lord. Use us. Use my husband. Use me. Use use our children that you have given to us that you go through to us father god and give me a wisdom supernatural wisdom to taking care of them in jesus name amen and i pray also lord father god for all the people are watching here in this platform in this channel that you have given to us entrusted to us lord father god in jesus name Amen and amen. Thank you, my brothers and sisters. Oh, for today is November 28, 2021. So we have a couple of things to be uh, to, to run some errand. And the Lord is a wonderful God. Yesterday we went to the church, you know. If you are the believer of Jesus Christ, if you are the if you surrender your no, life to we Jesus to Christ. Church. Yes, today. Yes, thank you. Yes, today is Sunday, okay? So, the message is in the Romans, the book of Romans, you know. God promises us in Romans 28, all things work together for good for those who love Him and called according to your purpose. Whatever the purpose of God to you, to me, it is good, you know, because if you are if you are with God, you know, no man's will against us because God is the greater than anything and anybody. Okay, so it's a wonderful day today. So we will enjoy for the half of the day. Time check is about 3.40 p.m. Nakakatawa guys. Happy, the happy heart. So, yes, we are on the way for our adventure. Adventure to, adventure to the forest it's how many days before the end of november uh we're the 28th today yeah so we've got two more days yes thank you lord so yesterday the lord revealed to us many things and he showed something that you know the light over there in the river yep yeah, there's a lot of message, you know, if you are only open to your heart. Because we have a spiritual eyes, we have our spiritual heart. So even our eyesight is not working anymore. If your spiritual eyes is healthy and clear, 2020 more than our physical eyes, you know, that's the most important, you know, because that's powerful. The, the Spirit of God, right? Amen. Yes. Know. Amen. You know, some people don't know this, but there's a very, very well-known and um, long-standing church hymn called Blessed Assurance, written by Fanny Crosby. And many people don't know this, and that's okay, but uh, it would be interesting to note that Fanny Crosby was blind when she wrote that. And one of the verses of that hymn talks about having visions of rapture now burst on my sight yeah, burst and on so my sight. she saw things and understood things that um, nobody else could see and she didn't need her physical eyes to see that she saw that in the spirit she wrote about it and everybody's probably if they've been in church any length of time they at some point have heard that hymn blessed assurance Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory to find. So just to make a note about your comment about spiritual insight, uh, 
spiritual eyes versus our physical eyes. Uh, for example, we can walk uh, with our feet, right? The body God gave us enables us to walk and run and jog. But we are also called spiritually to walk with God. So there's a spiritual dimension in our life that involves our eyes, our hands, our feet, uh, our thoughts. So let us keep that in mind. It was a good point to make. Yeah. And our spiritual insight can be better than 2020 because it can see into the invisible world. It says about Moses when he came of age and he decided to step down from the palace. The reason he, one of the reasons he stepped down was that he saw him who was invisible. How do you see something that's invisible? You see that with the eyes of faith. You see that because you know God and God reveals that to you. Elijah prayed that his, his servant uh, Elisha could see what he saw. And Elijah knew there was a host of God's army all around the enemy, but Elisha couldn't see it, not with his natural eyes. So Elijah prayed and he said, God, something along these lines, Lord, open his eyes that he may see that they are more with us than there are with them. And God opened the eyes of Elijah and he saw the host of the armies of God camped around him. So, keep your eyes on Jesus as they say. Well, we don't physically see Jesus, do we? So what does it mean, looking unto Jesus? Jesus told the disciples, lift up your eyes unto the, unto the hills from, from whence, you know, lift up your eyes. For the harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. So, let us keep looking unto Jesus eyes yeah. that God has given to us. Amen. Amen. That's and good. We're going to drop in That's at Coop and then we're going to go up Highway 80, I think. A little pep. Um, little flakes of gold. <laughs> um, you can. I don't know about that way. I know going up 50, that's the more common way of finding that, I think. Uh, Placerville and all along those, those routes. It does I'm a lot of bus, milk. baby. Primarily, I'm going to get my milk. That's yeah. all? Pretty much. We're not doing a lot of shopping there. Yeah. I just need to get some milk. I think we've got most of what we need. We can make another trip in a day or two to back to co-op to get other things. I don't want to take a lot of time because I want to get on the road and spend some time together as a family. And so I'm just meaning to get in some milk because that's good for me for my calcium intake. And I just think I need to get that now. Okay, we're going to drop by person for so like because my husband will red. buy the macadamia milk. What, honey? That's what like the car, Gwen. Okay, tapos na kami sa co-op. Punta na kami sa amin adventure. Everything is done. Everybody say thank you, Jesus. Thank, thank you, Jesus. Jesus. And thank you for thank Daddy. You, thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome.